Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I'm going to teach you the basics of Hotwire. I know it's been a long time since I've last posted, I apologize, but I promise I'm back for now. I'm going to start posting a lot of tutorials. So I'm going to show you now what we are going to build in this video. The first thing that we're going to build is a normal scaffold, but one that does not require loading the page or reloading the page when you create a new post. So I'm going to say job, I'm going to say software developer. As you can see, I can post a job and it automatically appends to the thing and I don't have to reload the page. And the second thing that we're going to build is a live comments thing so I can just chat to the other person using turbo streams and it's going to append automatically live to the other screen so you can do this across the world or whatever. So you can say hello if I post comment it's going to apply on both screens because it's using turbo stream so it's automatically refreshing and this is all without refreshing the page so it's pretty cool. And then the third thing that we're going to build is going to be using this task so I'm going to click new task as you can see, it brings me to this form without reloading the page. And I can enter my title and my description. Best description ever. As you can see, as I'm entering the description, it's uploading the characters. So that's using stimulus to do that. It's a basic example. And then once I actually could create task, it's going to bring me back to task without refreshing the page. And I can toggle the description if I want by toggling this. And that's using stimulus. So we're going to be using hotwire turbo and stimulus to complete all these three examples and I hope this video will be about 10 to 15 minutes long or 20 minutes long I'm not sure so without further ado let's get started so the first thing I'm going to do is create a new rails app and I'm going to call it rails new hotwire underscore basics then I'm going to cd into that hotwire underscore basics and then what we're going to do is press clear and then we're going to run a new command so we're going to say rails g scaffold we're going to call it tips and we're going to give it a title and the title is going to be of text but we don't need to specify so run rails g scaffold tips and then do rails db migrate and then we're going to run code dot to open it up in vs code and then we're going to run rails s okay so this is going to be the one where we just create a tip without refreshing the page so it's not going to bring us to a new page it's just going to keep it on the same page so the first thing that we're going to do is go to roots.rb and we're actually going to root to root to tips hashtag index and then we're just going to make sure our app is working so I'm going to go to localhost 3000 and hopefully it's going to give us our tips okay so we have our tips and just before we continue we're going to add a simple CSS so I have a link to this in the description we're going to add simple CSS so go to your application to html.erb so it's inside of app views layouts application to html.erb add this link in there and this is basically going to spice up our application and make it look a little bit nicer so this is what, what it was previously looking like and now it's going to look like this so it's just looking a little bit better okay so now we want to make it so that when we press new tip it shows the, the form on the page without actually going to a new page so let's go ahead and do that okay so to accomplish what i just said we're going to go to views tips and then we're going to go to the index page that's where we are now and then inside of here where it says we're just going to get rid of this and we're going to say render at tips just because it makes it a little bit neater and then where it says link to new tip we're going to put this inside of a turbo frame tag so turbo underscore frame underscore tag and we're going to call it new underscore tip underscore modal and then we're going to say do and then we're going to say end so basically what we want here is to allow this to be refreshed because we want to access it via a turbo frame so we're going to actually refresh this when we create the post we're going to see it again so we're not done here we need to add data and then we're going to say uh, inverted brackets we're going to say turbo underscore frame underscore tag and it's going to be called new underscore tip underscore modal so now that we've done that we can but well, we're not done here we need to say data and then the squiggly brackets so colon squiggly brackets and then we're going to say turbo underscore frame so we're saying a target turbo frame is going to be new underscore tip underscore modal so essentially what this is doing is it's going to look for the new page and then on this page it's going to look for a turbo frame called new tip modal and then it's going to replace this one with the one on that page so let's go ahead and see and then inside of here what we're going to do is right here we're going to say turbo turbo underscore frame underscore tag we're going to call it new underscore tip underscore modal then we're going to say do to include all of this and then we're going to say end 
So now that we've done that, once we click on the new tip, if I refresh the page, it should actually show the form. And as you can see, it shows the form without reloading the page and going to a new page. So that's that. Now all we need to do is go to controllers, tips controller inside of the create method. What we're going to do is we are going to actually get rid of these two lines. And instead of doing that, we're going to say format.turbo underscore stream. So what this is going to do is look for a file that we're about to create inside of the tips folder and it's going to be called the create.turbostream underscore.urb. So we're going to go to the tips folder and we're going to create that file. We're going to say create.turbo underscore stream.erb. And essentially in the tips controller, when, it, when a tip is created, it's going to look for this file and it's going to execute whatever's in this file. So in this file, what we want to say is we want to say turbo underscore stream dot replace and we're going to say new underscore tip underscore modal and then we can just say like that so replace that with nothing and then we're going to say turbo underscore stream underscore append tips yeah render tips and then inside of here we need to add some data so we need to say partial tips slash tip and then we're going to say local tip is equal to a tip. So now that we've done all this, we're going to go back to our application and then if we do everything again, it should be working. So I'm going to say new tip, um, learn it Rails 8 is the best framework. And then if I say create tip, I'm getting an error and it says undefined local variable or method tip. I think we need to go back to the create.turbo stream and add an S after this locals. And then we're going to try again. So now I say new tip, Rails 8 is the best framework again, create tip, and as you can see, it works. So that's that done. Now we can create tips without refreshing the page. So that's the first thing that I've demonstrated and I hope it worked for you. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is create a live comments thing so that when we add a comment, it automatically updates autonomously across the pages. So even if someone is in Azerbaijan, they're gonna see it updating in real time. So we're gonna go back to the terminal. We're gonna stop the server, we're gonna say clear, and then we're gonna get a new scaffold. So we're gonna say Rails G scaffold comments and then we're going to say title then we're going to run rails db migrate and then we can run rails s again so we're going to go back to vs code and then we're going to go and we're going to go to our comments inside here we're going to go to index.html.erb and inside of here i'm just going to copy and paste what i have because that's going to make it quite a bit easier so inside of here we're basically just saying we're having the form on the index page and it's going to pass in the comment.new with the data of turbo stream true, turbo frame top. And then we're gonna pass in the title of the comment and then have a post comment button. Then down here, it's quite important. We have an ID of comments, so a div with an ID of comments, and then we're turbo streaming from comments and we're rendering the comments also. So all it is is just a form and then somewhere to render the comments with an ID. Then we're gonna to go to the models comment.rb and inside of here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say after create commit do and then we're gonna say end, and inside of here we're gonna say broadcast. Inside of here we're gonna say broadcast, prepend to comments. Then we're gonna to go to the comments controller and inside of here we can just get rid of both of these things inside of if at comment.save because it's gonna essentially look at the comment model for when it's saved because as, as we said, after create commit, and then it's gonna broadcast prepend to comments and then now all we need to do is go to the new page and at the top we're going to add a turbo frame turbo frame underscore tag and now once we go and post our actual comments so as you can see i have an edge microsoft edge browser on the right when i say this is the best comment and i post the comment it's going to show up on the left and as you can see it did so it's automatically working and it, the network is live and it's online then the next thing that we're going to do is create the tasks that have a character count that is automatically updating when you enter characters and also a toggle button. So we're going to run clear and then we're going to say Rails G scaffold tasks and we can say title and description. We're going to hit enter on this command and we're going to run run and then we're going to run Rails DB migrate and then run Rails S. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do here is combine what we did in the first demonstration, which was make it so that the form automatically appears when you press new and you don't have to go to another page. And then when you create a new task, it automatically appends. So let's do that. So we're gonna go to the, the views and we're gonna go to the 
tasks and then inside of here in index.html.erb we're first going to get rid of this we're going to say render render at tasks and then where it says link to new task we're going to say turbo frame tag new task modal do and then we're going to say end and then inside of here we're going to say data turbo underscore frame underscore tag or turbo frame and then we're going to call it new underscore task underscore modal then when we go to the new page we're going to have inside of here at the top we're going to say turbo underscore frame underscore tag we're going to call it new underscore task underscore modal and then do and then at the end we have to have an end tag so now if we do all that it should be working and as you can see it is working and the task is displayed or the form is displayed without refreshing the page get rid of this hashtag then we're going to create a new file and we're going to call it create dot turbo underscore stream dot erb and then inside of here we're going to say turbo underscore stream dot replace and we're going to say new underscore task underscore modal and then we're going to say with empty and then we're going to say turbo underscore stream what was it again let me go to comments append so go to create turbo stream dot append so turbo stream dot append then inside of here we're going to say partial we're going to say tasks slash task slash task and then we're going to say locals and we're going to say tip is equal to at tip then all i have to do is go to the tips or task controller and then inside of here where it says this we're just going to say format dot turbo stream to give a create dot turbo stream response so it's going to execute the code inside of here so that's just a, a re replication of what we done earlier or what we did earlier so now new task hello create task and i'm getting an error because i said tip instead of task i'm getting a bit confused it's like half nine so allow me this so task and then at task so like that and then now when we create a new task it should be working hello and i just realized we need to have an actual target for this so we need to say tasks then after that add a comment or a comma and then now it should be working so hello create task best create task as you can see it is working so now that that is working we need to actually add the character counter so let's go ahead and do that okay so the first thing i'm going to do is go to javascript controllers inside of here i'm going to create a new controller we're going to call it car underscore count underscore controller dot js and then inside of here i'm just going to copy and paste this so we're just saying import controller from at hot where it says stimulus and then export the controller static targets so some variables here input count then update this dot count target dot text content is equal to this dot input target dot value dot length so we're just saying input or update the value of the text box with the value of the length of the description so then we're going to go to the tasks and we're going to go to the index actually go to the form of the tasks and then inside of here where it says description we're just going to copy and paste this in so this is div data controller car count so we're going to the data controller and it's called car count so this is accessing that js controller using data controller then inside of here we're saying form.text area description so the attribute description rows three and then the data car count target input so we're saying this is the input variable and when every time you input something it goes to the update method of that of that um, file and then let's see if this works so yeah so then now i'm going to click new task and as you can see it actually does work and the characters update every time i add a new letter to the description so now all we need to do is essentially just make it so that you can toggle the description So to do that, we're going to create a new controller. We're going to go to, so so the same, con so new controller, and we're going to say, so to do that, we're going to go to JavaScript controllers, and inside of here, we're going to say a new controller, new file, and we're going to say toggle underscore controller dot JS. Inside of here, it's also going to be very simple. So we're going to have a target variable called details, and then we're going to update it 
we're going to update the class of this of this variable so let's go back to the form of tasks so I'm going to go to underscore task.html.erb then inside of here I'm just going to copy and paste this so we're basically saying div data controller toggle so again we're just accessing the controller and then we're going to have a button data action click toggle hashtag toggle so we're basically accessing the toggle method of the toggle controller and then we basically just want to change the class of it to hidden or not hidden so as you can see right here it says class hidden this is tailwind so we need to add tailwind to application so i have it here i have the cdn here i'm just going to copy and paste it and put it in the application.html.erb you're not generally supposed to do this but because it's development it's okay but generally if you want to do production you're going to have to um, download into the application not add a cdn it's more efficient so then as you can see when i press toggle it does toggle the description and it makes it work so i'm just going to add a new task say hello or else <laughs> I'll do something like we need to get to 10k subscribers and the description is going to be by 2026 and then I'm going to say create task and as you can see at the bottom here toggle details we're going to click toggle details and as you can see by 2026 so that is working and that is the end of the video guys thank you so much for watching these three demonstrations of hotwire I hope you really found value from this video and if you did Please be sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.